guys, it's me Drew and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above and this giant box, it's another Sassy Girl Aroma haul. I blame Charity and Charity alone. No, I mean there, there was other videos that's for sure. I mean Carson, Angela, Jessica D, Emily, I mean there's a lot of them, but when Charity posts a haul video for Sassy Girl Aroma and how much she loves our wax, I place that order and I am hooked. Her wax is just so amazing. And let me tell you, as I place orders and as I get a wax collection, there's nothing like when you have so much wax, storing bars like this are so convenient. And for me, that just like changes the game when it comes to wax storage. And I'm just beyond impressed with her wax, the throw of her wax. You'll see in my empties videos whenever I finish wax, how I feel about it and talk about it. But I'm beyond impressed with Julie's wax. This was from her pre-order from October 12th? Was that it? Or October 29th? Or October 29th pre-order. I wanted to wait until, because, as you know, I work retail, and it is hell right now, and I'm finally off today, so I'm sitting down, I'm filming this video for you guys. So, I have loaves, I have souffles, I have brittles, I have it all. There is a little business card, Sassy Girl Aroma, established in 2010. There is her little business card, Julie and Tyrell, her husband. And then there are two samples. The first one is Sayo Persimmon Fruit, I believe is how it's pronounced. And persimmons are like, they're like in the citrus family, aren't they? They're like really little fruits. And that's what this smells like. It smells like a very, very citrusy fruit, but... There's almost like a hint of green in there. Not really sure exactly what it is. I'll have to look up the description. It's a really yummy one. And I like these little samples for the bathroom. And to have like a really citrusy scent like that is perfect for the bathroom. Speaking of perfect for the bathroom, this one, Cucumber Cantaloupe. Oh, I love this Cucumber Cantaloupe. It smells so good. I'm a, such a sucker for melon scents. I know some people really don't like them. Me, I can't get enough. And this for the bathroom, I need brittles in this, or even a loaf. It is so fresh, a little bit sweet, creamy, delicious. Why don't we get started small and work our way up? So we will start with the souffles, or she calls them mini muffins. They're in these little tins. They look like this, and they're $6.95. I did get four of them. The first one is one of Charity's favorites. It is going to Disneyland. And this is cotton candy, strawberry, pineapple, creamsicle, lemonade, and whipped cream. Her scents are just out of this world. And the longer they sit, the better they get. It is like one of the best fruit cocktails you've ever eaten. I don't necessarily say it smells like Disneyland, but okay, the colors are awesome. Her wax pops right out. And I think there's something so elegant about how she does a white overpour with the chunks. It really showcases the wax. And yeah, it just smells like creamy and fruity and mixed with the creamsicle is, oh, it's so good. I mean, this I'm saving for summertime, but it smells like a quintessential, like, delicious summer fruity scent. Really, really like that one. Next, we have Heading to Camp, and this one says toasted marshmallow, burnt sugar, sticky sweet cocoa, vanilla, and a hint of smoky firewood. Now, see, this to me, it's very interesting. When I hear Heading to Camp, I think of a lot more smoky than this, but when I first got this package, I smelled this, and I thought the same thing as I do now. It smells like the caramelized sugar topping of a creme brulee. Because you know how sometimes when they torch the creme brulee fresh at a really good restaurant, and they, they torch it, and then whenever you eat it and you hold it up to your nose, you almost smell a little bit of like an overly burnt sugar. 
which kind of comes across as smoky. That's what I get from this. Like a very smoked, almost like a burnt, caramelized sugar aspect of the creme brulee. I don't get any of the the custardy scent necessarily, because it's obviously not a creme brulee scent, but that's what I think that one smells like. It is delish. Candy corn, a little out of season, but I do hear Sassy Girl Aroma Wax last a really good long time, so I'm gonna save this in my basket for Halloween. An amazing replica of the popular sweet sugary Halloween candy, and I love that it's these like orange. It literally looks like a car uh, candy corn. It smells like you open a box of Brox candy corns to a T, 100% delish. A little bit sweet, a little bit sickly candy-like. When I do a Halloween melting basket, because starting in January, something exciting is happening, and I will be having melting baskets that will definitely be in my Halloween week. <sighs> Banana split milkshake cookies. This was definitely high on my list. Banana, chocolate sauce, sweet cherry, and sugar cookie crumbs. Now, I'm not a huge fan of cherry, but I figured overall in like the whole aspect of a banana milkshake, or a banana split, smells just like a banana split. Like, you get the cold ice cream, you get the cherry, you get the banana, you get the chocolate. It is so good. It's like, and what's interesting, you know when you get a banana split, like, obviously the chocolate sauce is like, not unless you go to like a gourmet ice cream place, it's like artificial, fake chocolate sauce. Same with like the strawberries and the banana. And the cherry, it smells like that. Like the artificial, but absolutely delicious and decadent um, sauce. It's out of this world. All right, I have 19 brittles to go through. So. Short, sweet, and to the point as I describe them. The first one I have is Black Cat. Now, I do want to give praise. I did in my last video, these brittles are simply stunning. I'm going to take one out, and that's it. Look at these guys. They're huge for one, like almost as big as my head, and I have a big head. There's so many pieces, two cubes in a warmer, whole scent. These last so long, you guys, and look at the artwork that goes into these for $9.95. Like, this is the way I'm going. I don't think I'm going to be buying souffles as much going forward, only because I love the way these store, and I don't have to cut them. I can just break them with my hands. I know loaves you do have to cut, but it's like a lot of wax. I don't know. But Black Cat says Blackberry Cider Lane and Marshmallow Fireside. Yes, yes, yes. This is the first Marshmallow Fireside blend I've smelled in a while where you can actually smell the Marshmallow Fireside. That smoky, toasty, a little bit rich and sweet, gooey marshmallow. Blackberry is like a really fresh, juicy blackberry. It definitely comes in the forefront, which is so interesting because Cider Lane, typically as an oil, is very, very sweet and almost like insanely caramel sweet and kind of takes over blends. You can smell that fully. You can smell all three. Incredible. And I will say, out of the 19 brittles that I ordered, only one came broken. I did plan on ordering 20, but one came out of my cart or something. I don't remember. Something happened, but it drives me nuts that I ordered an uneven number. Paisley. Paisley is Pink Sugar, Lord of Misrule, and Vanilla Bee Noel. And Lord of Misrule is a lush dupe, which is like a patchouli vanilla. So, 100% get that Lord of Misrule. And you smell, like I say all the time with lush dupes, you smell the powdery. Like the outside coating of a bath bomb, the lush powdery bath bomb scent is captured in this. And the Pink Sugar is that sweet, almost like cotton candy-esque, so good. And then the Vanilla Bean Noel really just sweetens and creams up the whole blend. Fabulous. Next we have Season's Greetings, and this one is Peppermint Vanilla and Fresh Baked Cookies. And yeah, it smells like a really great sugar cookie, similar to the Bath & Body Works Peppermint Sugar Cookie, but not 100% dupe. I feel like this one has more of the sugar cookie note. 
than the Bath and Body Works candle. It's like when you make uh, those slice and bake cookies and they're just a teeny bit burnt on the outside, but they're still absolutely incredible and delicious. So that one smells like. Fall Bakery, and I know fall's over, but I'm such a sucker for zucchini bread, and this is zucchini, pumpkin cookies, and apple pie. Her blends are just, they're like none other. And like, look at that awesome green wax. You really pick up on apple pie. The zucchini bread is that creamy, almost warm and cozy zucchini bread. I don't know why a zucchini bread, as soon as I smell it, I'm instantly relaxed. My shoulders relax. I instantly feel comfort and warmth and hominess. And I think the pumpkin cookie just adds like a nutmeggy spice. So really rich, juicy apple pie mixed with a warm zucchini and just a hint of that spice. Banana nut bread. I'm a sucker for all things banana. And this says freshly baked banana nut bread, not too nutty with plenty of creamy ripened banana. I will say this smells a little bit like that artificial Laffy Taffy banana, but again, I've said this before, I'll say it till I'm blue in the face, I love artificial banana. I love real banana. I love all the forms of banana in wax, and this is no different. It smells so good, just like all banana nut bread scents though. It is like a little Laffy Taffy, but again, I'm not complaining because I love it. This is the only really one in the box I'm not too thrilled with. There's two that I'm not too thrilled with. One's my own fault. Starbucks coffee. And it has like a little asterisk on the U so it's not copyrighted. Colombian coffee with a hint of buttery caramel and a splash of whipped cream. Now hopefully this is one of those cases where on cold it smells different than when it's warm. It just isn't sweet enough. It's like really, really bitter black coffee, and I'm not a fan of black coffee scents. That's why one of the scents from another vendor who has a lot of coffees has, like, a black coffee, and I haven't ordered it yet. I was hoping I'll get it in a sample one time because I just don't like it. I drink a coffee with a ton of cream and sugar, just like oh, I feel like so many people do. Um, iced coffee, of course. I am gay, so iced coffee. But anyway... Yeah, I don't know. It's like, it's like that bitter, bitter coffee. And hopefully it mellows out when I melt it and like it doesn't, the other notes come out more like the caramel and the cream. If not, I'll just add like a creaminess to it. Another creaminess in wax. Then we have Elegant Diva. And this one is pink sugar, key lime, whipped cream, and pie crust. So like uh, key lime pie with pink sugar. Now, this is not as pie crusty as I was hoping. I'm not mad at it though, because that key lime is first and foremost. And it's kind of cool too, if you think about it. Key lime, or pink sugar is pink. Key lime, pie crust, and whipped cream. Now, I know the scents are all blended together, but it's just cool that the four colors are the four names here. Yeah, it's a very, very key lime front. I'm not smelling a ton of the pink sugar or any of the other notes. It's just very limey. And Charity again, Mirror Maze. She talks so much about this scent. I knew I had to try it. Sweet watermelon, lemon lime fizzy pop, and sugary cotton candy. So good. Now, what's interesting is the lime fizzy pop, or lemon lime fizzy pop to me, comes across more as seltzer than fizzy pop. Because to me, uh, the watermelon and the sugary cotton candy, this almost smells like a watermelon scented seltzer or flavored seltzer. I'm not getting a ton of the lime fizzy pop. I'm not complaining. I like it. I think this will be a great, like, 150 degrees outside. I'm melting. I'm hating my life because I hate the summer. Melting that. Delish. One of her very iconic scents, Hello Lover. And this is sweet sugar cane, lemon rind, followed by hints of shortbread. This is one... It's interesting to me. It, it, it definitely is le like lemon. I was expecting it to be a little bit more sweet lemon than it is. I'm not really sure. The lemon rind is like so realistic, like you just shaved or shaved the rinds off of lemons. 
sweet sugar and shortbread. I'm not getting any shortbread. I am getting just a very, very sweet, sugary lemon. But it's very tart at the same time. Like, very realistic lemon. I guess I was just expecting a little bit more sweet. I'm not upset by it at all, by any means, but I just feel like I need a little bit more sweet. Next is Earl and Me, and I was so excited for this one. Blueberry Cornbread Muffin and Vanilla Bean Noel. Cornbread and wax is something that's just so unique and different. And this is it. It's that cornbread oil that is so good and so, like, down-home country cooking scent. I love it. A little bit... Just a little bit of like the blueberry. It's like you made a cornbread muffin, but added blueberries in the batter. So they're not super sweet or super tart. It's much more savory. This is a Sunday morning scent. Next time I ever have a Sunday off, which I don't think will ever be in history again, that will be a scent that 100% I need to order in Lowe's and melt on Sundays. Big Bird's Birthday. I just love the name. Cotton Candy Lemon Curd Birthday. I love Lemon Bakery. And this is a different lemon than the one that's in Hello Lover. This is like that creamy lemon bakery mixed with the super sweet birthday cake. Yes, 100%. Like a birthday cake filled with lemon curd instead of icing. And like I said, it's just not as tart or powerful as the other one is from the or, um, Hello Lover. Strawberry Mint. Love the colors. Sweet Peppermint Candy and Juicy Strawberry. I love this. I love this. The strawberry in here is literally like a realistic strawberry. And even though it has Sweet Peppermint Candy in it, it's I almost feel like I can detect that this is a very, very authentic and not artificial strawberry. I don't know how, but it does. It's not artificial strawberry at all. It's very realistic, juicy strawberry with that, like, peppermint candy. And when I th smell this, I'm reminded of those peppermint candies that are, like, the white, and, like, the quintessential peppermint candy. The red and white twisted candies. Cherries on top. Zucchini, birthday, cherry crumb pie, and pistachio. Somebody said they absolutely love this, and that's why I ordered it, but I don't like cherry, so I don't know why I ordered it. Oh, it is a very cherry. I'm going to melt it like I do everything. I was hoping the zucchini bread would overpower it. I do have a plain zucchini bread brittle from her, so I'll try it on its own. Again, I'm not afraid. I'll try it. If it's too much cherry, the next time I melt it, I'll add a piece of zucchini bread. I'll maybe do like one and one and see, or I'll play around with it. Coin wash. The, okay, teal and orange are my two favorite colors. So seeing this just brings me so much joy. Fresh aired laundry and amber. Totally different than all the other ones. And I always say it's important to order scents that are not like your others. And then your nose almost like resets itself because you're used to smelling those bakery scents or those fruity scents or those mapley scents or pumpkin-y scents. And when you smell a laundry scent, it's like your nose is woken up again. Mm-hmm. And this is like you air-dried laundry. And I almost say, and I've said this before, with laundry scents, this one smells like you just put your laundry in with about 10 gallons of softener because it is so strong on the laundry. Maybe even one cube of this will be nice, but that's also good if you need a nice reset for your house. The only one of my brittles that came broken, but it's okay, is in Whoville, and this is oranges and apples with cranberries and a hint of sugar and spice. This is the dupe for Yankee Candles Cranberry Chutney, 100%. It smells exactly like Yankee Candles Cranberry Chutney. So if you know that scent, Whoville, 100%. And it's so good. It's that tart cranberry mixed with a little bit of spice, but not overwhelming. It is so good. And then I say last but not least, three brittles, I almost whacked myself, three brittles of IHOP. Never smelled it in my life, but from the description, from everybody raving about it, I had to try it. 
pumpkin pecan waffles, maple syrup, brown sugar, caramel, and coffee. Yes, it's so good. Pumpkin pecan waffles, yes. Coffee, just a hint. Maple syrup, caramel, delish, brown sugar. It's just like the most decadent pumpkin pecan waffles blend you've ever smelled. It's like, it's like, if say pumpkin pecan waffles was like a Krispy Kreme donut, and then this is like the gourmet donut shop that you're seeing on TikTok. Uh, have you seen that? The TikTok woman from Vegas, they're like these couture donuts. Like, I feel like this is like her version of pumpkin pecan waffles. It's more decadent. It's more rich. It's everything you want pumpkin pecan waffles to be. And then some. And brittles are my favorite form. So the second I saw that these were available in brittles, I had to snatch some up. I'm hoping in her pre-order that's opening on Friday, so this is posting on Wednesday, I'm hoping there's loaves in IHOP because I am going on a very, 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 very low buy, not a no buy, there's some rules, a very low buy in January just to use up some wax. Um, and. I hope it's available from this pre-order because if it is, I have to get at least two loaves, so I am set. All right, so those were my brittles, my souffles, or my mini muffins. Let's talk about some loaves, shall we? In every order, I get three loaves. I got three in my last, no, I didn't. I got two in my last order. Never mind. Scratch what I said. I got three loaves this time. The first one is Pebbles Strawberry Twinkie. I'm so sad I did not get the favorite Twinkie, strawberry filled Twinkies or whatever it is in souffles. I missed out. It sold out like almost instantly in the pre-order. And yes, even though Sassy Girl Aroma offers a pre-order, they are limited so she can get them out in a fast time. But, you know, it sold out so fast. So anyway, I figured this was like as close as I could get for now. This is Strawberry, Fruity Pebbles, Marshmallows, and Twinkies. This is good, don't get me wrong, but it just smells like a sweet cereal scent to me. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's good. It's really good. And it reminds me of like Fruit Loops or Fruity Cereal in, or Fruity Pebbles, in milk. It's really good. It's really good. Don't get me wrong. It just is, like I said, a super sweet milky cereal scent. I'm hoping to get my hands on that other one soon. Chunky, chunky, chunky loaf. This is Cookies Under the Christmas Tree. Pine, sugar cookies, and vanilla bean. And... This is such a good one. The pine is in there. You definitely can smell it. But the sugar cookie and the vanilla bean noel sweetens it up, makes it creamy, and oh so delicious. As soon as people started blending in pine with like sugar cookies and creaminess, it just makes it so much better. This is the type of pine that I love. Don't give me any straight up Christmas tree. Sugared spruce, yes, but this pine, this is what I want to smell for Christmas. It's so good. I did order that Christmas at Santa's in a loaf during the next pre-order that's coming in a couple weeks. I know Charity loves that one too, and I cannot wait to smell that. And last, Fall Yoga Pants by the Fire. Pumpkin Pecan Waffle, Cider Lane, and Marshmallow Fireside. Winner, winner, winner. I've had this from other vendors. It's so good. Pumpkin pecan waffles, that sweet, creamy, again, okay, I say the same thing every time. Pumpkin pecan waffles, check. Cider Lane, check, check. Marshmallow Fireside, check. And it's a winner. Perfectly blended. I love how three Bath & Body Works scents that are such popular candles blended together to make one absolutely perfect blend. I would show you my empty box, but I put everything back in the box so I can put it back in storage. And yeah, that was my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing week. Hope you survive Black Friday. I am getting ready to work candle day. I'll be opening the store at 5 a.m. So, oh boy, uh, my first candle day. So I'm um, buckling up and ready for the ride. So wish me luck. 
I, I hope I survived the two days. I open both days, Friday and Saturday. So my store will be hustling and bustling. We're the number one store in Pittsburgh. So we are expecting to be very busy. Thank you guys so much again. I love you all so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell down below so that way you're alerted in every single one of my videos. I'll talk to you guys soon. Make it a better world. And I love you.